Good evening. We are here at the theater again with Fat Guys at the Movie. By the way, I've had many people wonder what F a P H A T stood for. P H A T could be a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the old school days, it was pretty hot and tempting. Remember? Right, pretty hot and tempting. Yeah. But for us, looking at the two of us, it's physically half a ton. Physically half, half a ton. P H A T. P H A T. Like right. By the way, in the interest of full disclosure, if you notice my shirt tonight, um, I am showing my true, hey. my, my true identity. You borrowed that from Shaq? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that what yeah. you got it from? Yeah. Well, you see, you figure, you know, Clark Kent is normally glasses and, and combs his hair different, and right. that's the only difference between him and Superman. This is a much more convincing disguise, gray hair and fat. You get the yes, disguise yeah. part right, yeah. <laughs> really so, hiding out So here, in huh? the interest of full disclosure, just wanted to let you know yeah. that. But uh, anyway, we just got through watching Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. We told you we were going to do it, yeah, and, we and we actually did it. did it. We survived. I didn't need the breadcrumbs to get out. <laughs> I really didn't need the breadcrumbs to I get out. I will say, before we even get to the review part, I looked at my watch, what, ten times at least? At least, yeah. Hour and a half movie? Yeah, hour and a half movie. But I will say this. Um, the first clue came in the opening credits when it was from an MTV production. <laughs> I, and I said, I said, there's our first yeah. warning sign when it yeah. said MTV Films. I said, these are the people that did Joe's apartment. As Never a matter of fact, that. as a matter of fact, I think we should reenact for everybody what our first reaction was when we saw it was an MTV film. I was actually sitting on um, on Oliver's left, and I just right. went, uh. <laughs> I said, and I said, first warning sign. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. I looked over at Ken when I said. Yeah, but we are here to review Hansel and Gretel, witch hunters, and fat guys at the movies. Well, we endured it. We watched Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. They took the story of Hansel and Gretel, the, the fairy tale, and I guess the guys, the kids got liking the idea of burning witches, and so they grew up to become bounty hunters. Stars Jeremy Rayner, and Renner, and he, uh, <clears throat> he's lost his touch. Let's put it that way. If that's all he can do after the Bourne legacy and the Avengers, then the guy's lost his touch. But I will give one person credit in the movie. Famke Jansen, who most of you probably recognize from, from the, uh, the X-Men trilogy, and she was also in Taken 1 and 2. She played Liam Neeson's wife. She was very convincing as an evil witch, which also tends to make me believe that that might be part of her personality in real life. But uh, other than that, this movie didn't have a whole lot of promising uh, possibilities. Going into it, and after seeing it, it didn't have many promising possibilities coming out of it either. I expected going in there giving it no stars. Okay, the special effects were good. The CGI was, was, was really good in it. So I've got to give it at least one star for that. Famke Jansen deserves a star for being a witch. If you want to put a B there, that's fine. But either way, that's it. You got two stars from me. If you want to go to the movie and just have spend an hour and a half sitting in the chair just enjoying the, the, the ambiance of the theater, which is the best way to watch a movie, go see Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. Other than that, pick another one. Parker comes out this weekend. I'm going for Parker. Um, in my opinion, after watching this movie, Hansel and Gretel, here in, I actually watched it in 3D. Um, I don't know what to say anymore. I know that, I've heard before that there's no such thing as bad art. I know that not to be true now. And I also know that Jeremy Renner has a very short career in Hollywood if he keeps choosing movies like this. Uh, some details on the movie, I'll go over some short details, I won't keep it long. Stories crap, dialogue, sound, dialogue sounds like something out of an MTV TV show, reality show. Um, like, uh, I can't effing believe this come up a couple of times. Great choice, guys, for a bunch of German people in the woods. And uh, also, uh, everyone spoke like they came from Nebraska or California or somewhere other than Germany. So for me, I'm afraid I can't give this movie any stars at all because there's not a thing about it that I liked in any single way. CGI special effects may have been good, but... What's not nowadays? I mean, you can do that. You can do that stuff on a home computer with a big Apple tower or something. 
I'm giving it zero out of five stars because this film should have never been made. And I don't think Jeremy Renner's career will ever see the end of this film. I think this film is going to do him in because a lot of his movies, let's face it, don't make money as, as a whole now. They're not commercially successful. And now this is... I don't know what this. I also want to say one thing about the female second lead. Crap. Total. I've never seen worse acting in my life. A witch blows up in front of her face. She says, I effing hate that with no emotion whatsoever. Blood just shot all over. And she hates it, but she's got no emotion about it. Zero out of five stars. Don't waste your time. If you take $7.50, mail it to the movie company, save yourself an hour and a half. Well, there you have it. Hansel and Gretel. I don't witch, even, hunters. witch hunters, witch bounty hunters. hunters, whatever kind of hunters they are. That just everybody in the movie, every female in the movie too, is a witch. You notice that? Yeah. Every female in the movie ended up even Gretel. Right. Yeah, even Gretel and Gretel's mom. Gretel's mom. Every like all five or six of the main females in the right. movie, all were witches. And the one at the very beginning of the movie that they saved from being a witch was a witch. Was a witch. <laughs> Everybody's a yeah. witch. Yeah. They're all just witches. And you know, I think it's very appropriate the name of our next movie that we're going to be reviewing, because this is what you want to do after watching Hansel and Gretel, uh, Witch Hunters. We're going to be reviewing Stallone's Bullet to the Head. <laughs> if I only had a gun during that movie, yeah. the things I could have done to myself. Yeah. But uh, Stallone's oh. returning to the screen for the 9,464th time. But it is Stallone, and it's the best movie next week, m the most interesting movie coming out next week. Yeah. That's what we try yeah, to do. Unfortunately, this week it was Hans and Loretta. Yeah. Warm Bodies is coming out next week, which is basically the zombie Twilight. And we had a Soldenberg movie coming out this week, but the, it's not the kind of movie that plays everywhere. And honestly, it's for a, it's not a general audience movie. No, no. We'll get, you know, when it comes Oscar time later in the year, we'll get some, Yeah. we'll and, watch some more serious yeah. movies. And know? we'll also have our own Oscar special. Sure, yeah. why not? But uh, next week we're going to be, uh, we're going to see Rocky Balboa and uh, Bullet to the Head. No, oh, we'll be. Yo, Adrian, he do it. Oh, yeah, he's getting a little punchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know, I think the guy really is getting punchy. Well, man, he's old enough. Yeah. I mean, Between that and the steroids, you know, what he's can like you do? like 65 or something. Yeah, 65. Staying that pumped. But I will say that Schwarzenegger aged better than... Still yeah, I don't think Schwarzenegger tries to say that pumped anymore, though. Yeah, that's You know true. what I mean? That's true. He just said, heck with it. Yeah. I don't really need to do that anymore. And on a little side note, the Super Bowl's coming up a uh, week after next, and the week of the Super Bowl, we're going to have our first movie review special. We're going to to share with you our top five, his top five, my top five sports movies of all time. That's right. That's going to be a separate upload on. It's going to be a little short, short little special up on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can find us on YouTube.com. You can slash. You can uh, you can uh, search for Fat Guys at the Movies. P H A T. Right. Or search for Ken Taylor, or search for the name of the movie we're reviewing, yeah. Hansel and Gretel review. Yeah. Just put in P H A T right after that. You'll find the search engine. And we're also on Facebook at. Fat guys at the movies. That's right. So until next week with Bullet to the Head. I'm Oliver. I'm Ken. And this is Fat Guys at the Movies.